Notably, it looked like it was the crutch panel. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hi there. Hold it right there. You, you swear right. Uh. I knew you'd come back, and now I've got you. You. What are you, you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there immediately. Uh, That's yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. You. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Well, fine, I'll help myself Keep your out. distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? A clown. I was looking for a clown. Huh, ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a yeah. bomb in the cafe and blew it up. Mm -hmm. What? The cafe? Blown up? To no. me the rings. You, that is awful. Isn't and it? And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? Yes, that's, that's what I right. said. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mm. Mon Dieu! And then, oh dear. the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... Probably the same person, One yes. And the same? Well, yes. Yes, it had crossed my mind. We're so ah, glad you got on the same page as us. Not explain what you are doing down <sighs> the sewer. I was uh, following I him. You are in league with him. Oh uh, no, I'm just a tourist. Yeah. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Oh, but they are. Uh, I guess we could show him our card. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Ho 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 ho. Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? Yeah, yeah. A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. It's okay, covered? Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there Ugh. was something different about you. Are all the French people in this game costume, idiots? Uh, well, I guess points. except for Nico. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. Uh. I was in the army, you know. You don't when say. When I was your age, I was fighting for my uh. land in the African desert. Is this really? How can I help you, Inspector? All right, so we'll ask Let's you some questions. Let's start over from the beginning, and tell it just like it was. Mm. Tell me about Ziklan. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, Monsieur. He was. He grabbed me in an unlock. His oh, no. name suddenly next to mine. I... His grip was like iron, but he did not know what he was up against. I bet you oh, this no. didn't happen. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert. Hyenas. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, I get the picture. Alright, tell me about... Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, that was easy. What about... Do you know the waitress at the cafe? So you don't want to hear about my experiences in the desert? Like, I no? I thought to make this country what it is today. Ugh. I'm sure you did, but I'm a little short of time. Mm-hmm. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Again? Oh, you, you, you can't suspect her, ah, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, sir. I know her. Ooh. Quite well, you could say. Biblically? She came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. Hmm. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Oh. Oh. So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Ugh. Oh. Whew. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. Like that a baby. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? Mm. I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Hmm. Take a look at this false nose. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Uh, Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Better he decided he didn't need it anymore. He wanted you to find it. 
Why? Why would he want to do that? To put you off this end. Ah, uh, because it's a nose, I get it. Take a look at this false Again? nose. Again? You showed me before, monsieur. Okay, what about this? This is what I used to open the manhole cover. I have one just the same as that, monsieur. I will fetch it if you like. No, don't no, worry. No, don't bother. Oh, it is no bother, monsieur. Nah, forget it. Just trying to be helpful, monsieur. That, yeah, that's nice. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Mm. That is the same cloth as the jacket I found. Ooh, a jacket. I recognize that pattern anywhere. Because it looks like vomit? What about this? What does this tissue mean to you? Ugh. Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, disgusting. That what it is. on earth possessed you to show it to me? Morbid curiosity? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Ugh. Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. What? <laughs> so quickly? Because, because otherwise, it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. What, in it drama tell? name inside, on the label. Well, who was Where it? Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Mm. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not as soon. You know oh. what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as <sighs> an ordinary person. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. You know, just what I said before. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Mm. Todrick. Todrick. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. Mm. 74 0859 You're kidding. Uh, that's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little stupid number that I learned in the desert. It's either his I number or the number of my hooker. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Uh, honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Yeah. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. <laughs> Indeed. Well, thank you for being extremely helpful. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, <laughs> I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, Inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. Oh, I'll thanks. let you out. Oh, that's so sweet. I will, and I'll marry him. It will be magical. Yeah, that was handy. Let's use the little phony box. And let's ring Todok, or B Todok, apparently. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Huh. Hi. My name's George Stobar. You don't know me. Great, Correct. I hang up now. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Mm. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No, no that's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? The I place? guess you might say I'm acting in the interests Ugh. of truth and justice. Oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. The there police. are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives Todrick. that you could save. I don't want to You're save them. Collecting for charity, yes? No. No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Tell me about the man Plantar. Do you know a guy called Plantar? No. I never heard of him. Okay. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? Oh. I told you, I never heard of Plantar. But... I expect Plantar's a family man, uh. don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come Junior? home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Uh. Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? 
the faithful puppy dog waiting for the sound <laughs> of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, Planta. I never heard of Planta. I None never... of this has anything to do with me. I never heard of that dog. What do you know about the clown who <gasps> bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. Ooh. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am, you don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know if you're now. saying that to make me think you don't know what I mean, but uh. oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Oh. Did you know that one of your customers was a part-time clown? If a guy feels happy with a funny nose and custard down his pants, what's the <sighs> problem? I don't know. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Todrick. All right, so now that we've done that, let's ring Nico and tell her what we found out. Mm. Nicole Collard. Bonjour, Kula. Hello. It's me again, George Stobart. I want Hi, to have George. your babies. Any news? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown, <gasps> and I know where the killer gets his suits. <gasps> no kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. No, you're what? not. Well, it wasn't easy. No. Look. Why don't you come here to my apartment? Fine. We can burn. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Rue okay, Jarry. I'll come right over. I've been just hanging out here all day and not finding out nothing. Come on, Georgie. Georgie. 